Excuse me, your most wonderful worshipfulness. Might I have an audience with your greatness? Yes. What is it, Globling? It's these pesky flat earthers, my lord. They trouble me, saying things that strangely resonate with common sense and spark my critical thinking. Nonsense. Like what? I'm sure it's nothing and easily explainable, your most highness. But for example, why is it when searching for real photographs of Earth from space, every single result looks more like a CGI photoshopped image than a genuine photograph? Fool! That is because they are not photographs. What you are seeing is actually complex data sets taken from our geostationary satellites, translated into ribbons of imagery, then compiled into composite images. So you mean they're photoshopped? Yes, they're photoshopped, but they have to be. Silly globling, you, you can't just... Satellites can't just take a normal photograph like that. You gotta do the ribbons of imagery composite thing. Is that why so many official NASA images of the globe have been exposed having exact duplicate clouds copied and pasted into the picture? Things like clouds and the exact colors, shapes, scale, and positioning of continents is all expertly extrapolated from datasets and rendered by our elite artists. There may occasionally be minor mistakes made during the process. Like when the Russian Electro L1 satellite photo of the Earth was accidentally released with a big Photoshop hand tool rendered into the final image? Yes. <laughs> well... That's just those crazy cosmonauts. Um, actually, your lordship, if you compare side-by-side -side images of the Earth taken from outer space by various space agencies, they do look strikingly different from one another. Of course, Minion. They're taken from different distances, by different cameras, at different times, so the scale and positioning will never be uniform. It does seem, though, Your Majesty, that the proportion of landmass visible in many globe images is irreconcilably skewed, often showing single continents taking up 50% of the picture. That is all merely an optical illusion, you imbecile. The images are captured at different distances and scaled up or down, giving the impression of continents appearing to change size. What about the Apollo mission Earthrises, most honorable one? Why, in each image, does the Earth globe appear so radically different in size, shape, and color? They're not that different. I mean, what do you expect? Just out of curiosity, why do you suppose NASA has never turned Hubble, Webb, or one of their many space telescopes around and zoomed in to show us upside-down plains, oceans, buildings, and people living down under in Australia. I'm sure people would love to see such a demonstration, and it would easily shut the Flat Earthers up forever. Turning a telescope around to look at ourselves? Preposterous. What a waste of important machinery to see what we already know. We need to forever be focusing on things millions and billions and trillions of miles away. And besides, Elon Musk already sent a car into space, and then gaslighted everyone by saying, quote, You know it's real, because it looks so fake. We'd have way better CGI if it was fake. Well, yeah, that makes sense, in a doesn't-make-any-sense kind of way. <laughs> and I'm sure the guy who wants to implant microchips into our brains is one to talk, right? Ha 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 